If you've clicked on this video, you're most probably planning a trip to the wonderful city of Singapore. And honestly, why wouldn't you? It is a city full of wonderful history, world-famous monuments, and it is an absolute food heaven. I recently headed into the city of the Malayan and want to share six things that you absolutely need to know before going, especially if you're headed there for the first time or even if it's your first time post-pandemic. Hey guys, it's Steve from the Fat Life Project. I'm a seasoned traveler to Singapore and even I wish I knew some of these before I headed in recently. First off, let's just get the concern that's likely on everybody's mind out of the way, which are the COVID requirements. You'll be glad to know that quarantine and COVID tests are no longer required as of the 13th of February, 2023. Face masks are also no longer required on flights heading into Singapore and also out in public. You will, however, need to fulfill some other requirements, which I will outline for you right now. And if your last time to Singapore was pre-pandemic, you need to listen carefully. Seriously, I saw so many people frantically on their phones at the immigration because of this. Singapore has completely discontinued their physical arrival white cards, which used to look like this for reference to an online submission form. You can submit your arrival card up to three days prior to your departure date. The form is real easy to fill in, so I'm not going to walk you through that, but I will say this. You have to be careful of fake websites that are either attempting to fish information out of you or scam you out of money. They for some reason appear on the same page on Google when you search for entry forms at Singapore and sometimes even look like the real ICA website. I have included the correct ICA link in my description box just for you. Mind you, if you don't fill it in prior to departure, you can still fill it in once you arrive at Changi Airport. After all, Changi has one of the best free Wi-Fi services in the world. Filling it in before you arrive simply allows for a smoother arrival process. I highly recommend it. Of course, information can change over time, so I do recommend you double check the information mentioned here at the Immigration Checkpoints and Authority Singapore website prior to departing for Singapore. Another thing that was new at least to me during my recent visit to Singapore was that I was allowed to use the automated immigration lanes to enter Singapore. You can pause the video to view the list of eligible passports or I have included them in the description box just for you. The automated immigration lanes look like this for reference. Okay, so you've entered Singapore and you're ready to start your vacation. You're going to want to know these next tips. This next tip may surprise some people, which is that I recommend you bring or exchange some Singapore dollars. Yes, Singapore is a modern city and credit cards are in fact accepted at many, many places. But if you plan on visiting Chinatown Singapore, of which I highly, highly recommend, most of the stalls there actually do not take credit cards. They do take other forms of scan to pay payments, but as a traveler, cash is still your best bet. If you didn't bring any, don't worry, there are plenty of money exchanges once you exit immigration. The next tip I have for you is to purchase a NETS card. This is the card you will need if you plan on using the MRT or bus network to travel. You can conveniently top up the card at many places. I have listed them here on the screen and also in the description box. You can also use your NETS card at any shops or restaurants that have this listed as a payment method. Jewel Changi is right on the top of the list of places that you must visit. And in particular, everybody is there to see the centerpiece of Jewel, which is the HSBC Rain Vortex. When you Google for Jewel Changi, it will say that it is open 24 hours. But did you know that the HSBC Rain Vortex is only operational from 10 or 11? 11 a.m. till 10 p.m. Furthermore, the best time to go witness the Vortex is during their daily recurring light shows which happen at 7.30 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. on Mondays to Thursdays, with an additional 9.30 p.m. show on Fridays to Sundays as well as on public holidays. Here's another beginner's tip for you. Did you also know that the Rain Vortex is located outside of the immigration checkpoints, which means that you either need to clear immigration first if you're arriving at Changi, or you need to visit Jewel before checking into your flight at Changi. I include tips such as this as well as some other exciting things that you can do at Changi Airport absolutely for free in this video right here. By the way, I'm Steve from the Fat Life Project. My channel shows you cool food and travel content on a weekly basis. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, why not subscribe so that we can go on more fun fat adventures together. I also upload every weekend so be sure to also turn on that bell notification so that you can start your weekend with me. As always, I hope that you have a fantastic day ahead or that you've had a fantastic fantastic day and I will see you soon in the next video.